Good morning, everyone. Thank you for starting your day out with me. I'm Jenna Stauffer. I'm going to touch on another serious subject this morning, and that is suicide. Suicide is the tenth leading cause of death in the United States. Every 30 seconds, someone somewhere commits suicide. In Key West, last year alone, we had eight reported suicides, and I think that number is just way, way too high. Suicide is 100% preventable, and we're going to talk about suicide prevention this morning with clinical psychologist Dr. Stephen Ragusea. Dr. Ragusea, it's always a pleasure having you on the and show. It's always a pleasure to be here. <laughs> All right, Dr. Ragusea, I said earlier to you, eight suicides in Key West. You told me that number is wrong. Sure. Mm -hmm. um, um, what that is is eight reported suicides, and a lot of things are suicides that are reported as accidents, um, they're reported as overdoses, um, they're reported as um, um, uh, uh, what happens a lot of times is that people will commit suicide by doing things that deliberately endanger themselves so that they wind up dying. Mm -hmm. For example, there's a whole phenomenon called death by cop and what happens is is that people will do very dangerous things and interact with the law enforcement system so that police officers will have no choice but to shoot them. That's not counted as a suicide, mm -hmm. but that's what it is. Mm -hmm. okay? Some people commit suicide by going out swimming and swimming way beyond their capacity to swim back, and that's called the drowning. Um, there are lots of people who who s what they do is they sort of skate on the very edge of life. They're walking this tightrope, and what they do is they abuse drugs, and they mix it with alcohol, and they know it's dangerous, and they sort of know that they might die. And as far as they're concerned, if they do, it's okay. Mm -hmm. And then they do. Mm -hmm. But it's not ruled a suicide, it's ruled a drug overdose. Mm -hmm. So lots of more people commit suicide than eight in our area. I think eight is too large and so I can't imagine you know you're saying that there's more than that. What is driving so many people to commit suicide? Um, well what you, uh, let's go back and start uh, and start with what you said earlier and that was you said every 30 seconds somebody kills themselves. Mm -hmm. So just in the time we've been talking someplace somewhere three or four people have died. Okay. Crazy. <laughs> and, and it happens in the United States roughly every 14 minutes. So during the time this show is on, two people will kill themselves in the United States someplace. And that is a total number more than everybody who has died in, in every war, in every terrorist attack, in every homicide in the world during that period of time. Over a million people a year kill themselves someplace in the world. So, I mean, you have to grasp the number. So when, when you think in terms of eight mm -hmm. and being shocked by that number, mm -hmm. it's eight is a tiny little piece of the action. True. Okay. Mm -hmm. So now what was your last question you asked? What is driving so many people to commit suicide? Well, um, the answer, the answer is varied. Um, part of it is, um, uh, is that people don't remember one fundamental truth, and that is that suicide is a permanent solution to a temporary problem. Mm -hmm. um, now that isn't always true, Jenna, but it's, it's most often true. Mm -hmm. um, the reason why people commit suicide is typically because they feel trapped. They feel like there's no alternative, there's no way out. They are cornered, there's no way to escape out of whatever mess they find themselves in. And, and it can be lots of things, you know. Sometimes it's a 16-year-old it's a girl who feels like she's trapped because her boyfriend dumped her and nobody likes her at school and she's going to get a C in language arts this year and her parents are going to be so angry at her they won't let her go to her um, to, to, to summer camp someplace and, and as a result she feels like her life is doomed and she kills herself. Um, and it goes from there to men who have been 
arrested for committing major crimes and they're facing 25 years in prison and they figure I'd rather just die. Mm -hmm. um, and, then there are, and, and then there are other people. There are people who are just terribly, terribly depressed. They, they are clinically depressed, which means they meet a set of criteria that we've established for depression. And, um, and, and they're suffering from what we consider a mental illness that is treatable. Um, that's another reason. Another reason, a relatively small reason, is some people are making an intelligent decision to kill themselves. Um, I, had a, I had an aunt, some, an Aunt Mary. And um, she was just a lovely woman. I mean, a really nice woman. And she was the wife of my Uncle Frank. And she wound up being diagnosed with brain cancer at a time when she had no health insurance. My Uncle Frank had spent his life building up a business so that um, uh, he was well, fairly well off at the time. Mm -hmm. And he was going to lose it all because she had brain cancer. And they knew she was going to die anyway. It was just a question whether she, gonna, she was going to die now or six months from now after she'd bankrupt her husband. So she went out to the barn, took a shotgun, and blew her head off. We're, we have to take a quick break right now. We'll get more into this, though, right after these messages. Stay with us.